for the high pull dip lunge, we've got a dumbbell horizontal to high pull. If you're flexible enough, you could take it off a box and go even further, so you get an even larger range of motion. But even this with a straight back is quite challenging. So coming from here into that pull, into the high pull. Now it's an arm dominant movement. So you initiate with the pull, then go into the hips. The opposite of an Olympic lift high pull style position where it's hips to legs, using the bigger muscles into the little muscles. You're going from the arms into the hips because you're really focusing on the upper body development. The hips are just allowing for you to go through a full range of motion by changing that angle. If you don't have dumbbells, you can do a similar version with the band. The only challenge with the band is obviously as the band is shorter, there's going to be more slack there. As it's pulled tighter, there's more resistance. Uh, so it is worthwhile investing in some free weights you will get much better development, but if you have the bands, you can still get great development. You could also do the inverted version uh, in the rings, which is much heavier. Uh, I'd recommend getting the free weight version down first before progressing that, and even working the pull-up version with that full range first before you take that into an inversion. That should be very strong before you go into that full version. Uh, but you know, if you are strong enough, get into it. Then we've got the dip using the rings, getting a nice deep position, nice stretch through the shoulder there. As you're coming up, coming into that pike and raising up, just so you get a full range. Now you can work that with the band for assistance and that will allow for you to get that nice full range of motion and get a little bit higher. You can bend the legs when you come down in the band. That way the resistance won't be too great in the band as you go deeper. So that way it's a more even spot throughout the movement. As you go through the pike, you straighten the legs. As you lower down, you bend the legs. For the lunge, we're working a lateral lunge reverse chop. So you've got the weight. The hand that's holding the weight first is the side that you're going to go to. So you lateral shift and chop. Now if you want to make it a bit more complex, you do a curtsy lunge into that and you can even, even do a pivot. So you pivot there. So working one side, change hands, and the other side. Really trying to drive from this, from the glute feel that nice wave go through. So they're quite nice, you don't have to add weight, you can just do a body weight as well, which is very stimulating for that glute. The benefit of it is that as you're going down into that position, you're really winding up that hip and then releasing. So you're getting that stretch and strengthen, getting that elastic recoil through that posture oblique sling. Enjoy those three to five rounds, get it done. If you've got any feedback questions, let me know. See you soon.